Hey guys, I wanted to make a video here talking about the iPhone 5S's GPU performance and what we're likely to see out of it. Now, Apple touted the iPhone 5S as being two times the performance of the iPhone 5, and you can see here from this GL benchmark, and by the way, it is off screen, so device resolution doesn't matter because all the tests will run up on an off-screen buffer at the same 1080p resolution, so it is a fair test. The iPhone 5 comes in at 30 FPS, the 5S comes in at 56, so not quite double, but pretty much double, and this is what Apple was talking about. It's a big increase in GPU performance. We've gone from 30 to 56, and that just means the iPhone 5S is gonna be quite a lot better in terms of games. Games are just gonna run smoother, the UI should be smoother as well, you shouldn't get any hiccups. It's a big increase in GPU performance. Now, you'll also note these two devices around it, the Sony Xperia Z Ultra and the LG G2. Now, in some cases, they're actually above the iPhone 5S GPU. Both of these devices have the Snapdragon 800, which is accompanied by the Adreno 330 GPU. And you can see it's pretty much on par with the iPhone 5S GPU. And that is pretty impressive because iOS devices always have very strong GPUs. So the Adreno 330 is very strong as well. And it's going to be interesting to see what these devices can do in terms of their gaming. Now, if we scroll down to the on-screen benchmarks here, and on-screen is obviously on-screen, so you do have to worry about the device resolution, the iPhone 5S comes top with 53, and you can see here the resolution of that is 13, 13, 1136 by 640. You're probably wondering why the gap isn't as big from the iPhone 5 to the 5S. We've only gone from 41.1 to 53, compared to pretty much double the performance of the, the off-screen test. And the reason for that is the iPhone 5S on screen is probably hitting the frame limiter at 60 frames per second, which is probably slowing it down a little bit in terms of the overall FPS. So that's probably the reason for that. Nonetheless, you can see below it the LG G2 with that Adreno 330 pushing 51. It's, it's two frames slower, but the LG G2 is pushing a 1080p resolution. It's pushing a lot more pixels than what the iPhone 5S is pushing. So it really is gonna be interesting when these two devices come out and we can actually see the gaming performance. This is obviously just one benchmark. There's loads of other GPU benchmarks I'd love to run on this to actually gauge the performance properly. This benchmark also doesn't take advantage of OpenGL 3.0, so that's something to take account. The iPhone 5S and the Android 4.3 devices can use OpenGL 3, which is better in performance and better graphics and stuff like that. I also want to note some of the other devices here, and you can see the Snapdragon S4. This is the uh, Snapdragon S4, sorry, the uh, Galaxy S4, and this has the Snapdragon 600. This is the Ad Adreno 320 GPU, comes in at 42 frames per second. Nexus 1, 37, Google Nexus 4, 32. So the iPhone 5S is quite a bit above this, but don't forget the Google Nexus 4 is probably gonna get a refresh pretty soon. Hopefully it'll have the Adreno 330 minimum. So we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, expect good performance from the GPU in the 5S. And I'm pretty excited about these two devices as well because they are right up there with it. So yeah, peace out.